So we have f of x equals 2x squared. On this, we know that this is an ax squared plus bx plus c form. In, our, in this case, our a is 2, our b happens to be 0, and c is also 0. So it's really easy to find the vertex and the axis of symmetry because if we go x equals negative b over 2a, we already know that b is 0, so negative 0 over 2 times 2, and that's already 0. So if I plug that back in to my original equation, my y is going to be 2 times 0 squared, which is also 0. So my vertex is going to be 0, 0. We just said that my axis of symmetry is this. Okay, And so I can go ahead and plug those points on our graph. So I'm going to put a big 0 right here, 0, 0. And our axis of symmetry is right along the y-axis. I'll just dash that right up the, the axis there. And now I want to also find our x and y-intercepts. Um, notice that in this case, our x-intercepts and our y-intercepts happens to be right at the vertex. I, if I put in 0 for y, 0 equals 2 times x squared and solve this for x, I'm going to have 0 equals x squared, or x is just 0, and that's an x-intercept. Notice that there's only one in this case. Same with the y. If I put 0 in for y, which we already did, we get 0. So the only point that I can put on here is right here at 0, 0. So what do I do now? How do I find some other points? Well, what we're going to do is look at we'll just have to make a table. So let's put in like negative 2 and a positive 2. So if I put in negative 2, it'll be 2 times negative 2 squared, which happens to be 4 times 2 is 8. And then if I put in a positive 2, it's going to be the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to 2 and go up to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's my value on the right side at positive 2 and on the left side. So this is going to be a relatively skinny little parabola. And I'm not drawing a very good picture of it, but you get the picture. There we go. There's our parabola. All right, let's look at another example. But before I go on, I wanted to point out something to you. Look at our A value. Notice that it's positive. If the A value is positive, it's going to point up. Look at our A value in this case. It's negative. So we know that it's going to point downward or open downward. Okay? We know that this is the vertex form of a parabola. So because of that, we can look and see what our vertex is right now. It is at 1, negative 2. And our axis of symmetry happens to be at x equals 1. So let's go ahead and put that in. We have at 1 right here, our axis of symmetry, and our vertex at 1, negative 2. All right, so we have those two points. Now we need to find what our y-intercept is and our x-intercepts. So let's put in 0 for x to find our y. So we have negative 2 times 0 minus 1 squared minus 2. So if I do this, negative 1 squared minus 2, that's going to be negative 2 minus 2 or a negative 4. So our y-intercept is going to open up and it's going to come down to negative 4 right here. And because the axis of symmetry is really a mirror, I know that on the, it's going to be equidistant from the other side. It's going to be another point just like it. So I'll put one right there. Now notice that since it's opening downward, am I going to have any x-intercepts? No. So there is no x-intercepts in this case. So I can go ahead and I could pick another point if I wanted to check. But I'm going to go ahead and just put these 
points in right here, we'll estimate it in.